Welcome back, this is the Ammo Jack, and today we got Commando, Hellmark Station, Suicidal. You guys ever, uh, you guys ever wake up in the morning and, uh, and just feel good? Because that's what happened to me this morning. You know, I just, uh, I woke up in the morning at, uh, 9 a.m. or so. There's a billion things behind me. I woke up at 9 a.m. or whenever it is that I woke up. And I just I felt good, you know? I felt good, and uh, I was just I was smiling. I was happy, and it was it was just uh, it was a good feeling. Wake up! I don't know what uh, I don't know what happened, but so this thing, I've played on this before. You can just walk up here, sacrifice some health, now you get damage, speed, and uh, like whatever else it said that we get. We have to we have to use this a whole bunch of times to get uh, one of the achievements for the uh, for the the, the 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 new event. We got to use this a whole bunch of times to get that achievement done. Get out of here, dude. That's how we do it in I don't really like it. Um, I'd rather not use it, <laughs> but like I just I don't like the the effect that it has. But I don't know. I woke up. I woke up this morning. And I just felt good. I felt happy. I felt. Uh, it's not like I, I normally wake up feeling you know sad, but I normally wake up feeling uh, neutral. And uh, today I woke up feeling just good. I don't know. It was it was a strange <laughs> strange thing. It doesn't happen. Uh, too often, but uh, it's a good start to the day, nonetheless. And I guess I had a, I guess I had a nice dream or something. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Who knows, man? Um, will we go sacrifice some more health? Yes, because look, we need uh, this thing ten times. It's Wednesday today. It's Wednesday. Can I use it again? No, you can only use it once per round, I guess. We'll use it every round, then. Um, it's Wednesday today. Wednesday's a nice day for me. It's uh, nice and easy. Get to do a little bit less work. We got the uh, Death's Gambit stream coming up. I'm Honestly, I'm getting a little bit bored of the game. Um, but I do want... Like, I have a, I have a goal to completely 100% every game on my Steam uh, like game library it'll never happen like I, I want to make sure that that's clear it's never gonna happen um, but I want to you know work towards it every now and then and that's what we're gonna be making the Wednesday thing is to uh, to go for all of the achievements in the game and uh, you know towards that end um, I've 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 kind of got to stick with it and continue to get some some of those um, achievements in the game. So we're gonna be working on that this week. Again, I'm not really having so much fun with it. I thought um, I thought I'd enjoy it a little bit more than I am. I knew that we'd get a lot of play out of it because again, I I want to go for the hundred percent, complete all the achievements, and that's going to take quite a lot of time. Um, but I thought I'd get into like speed running it and stuff, and to a certain extent we are because I have to speed run it at least a little bit just to get some. Um, we're gonna wait until later to pop this, because the thing is, you know, um, we might get uh, like flesh pounds or something spawning. Oh my god, my voice is not doing so great right now. This is the first video I'm recording today. Um, we'll just talk through it and pretend it's not there. And we might be getting like flesh pounds, scrapes, uh, other things that we're gonna want that little bit of extra damage for, and uh, we'll we'll hold off on uh, on popping it. And so we really need that damage, or until the round is over, you know. At the end, just just before the end of the round, we're gonna we're gonna make sure that we pop it anyway. Um, but you know, gotta make sure that uh, there are too many crawlers. Too many crawlers. Like what the heck? Too many crawlers. Okay. This is an unleg. This is an illegal amount of crawlers. Oh dear. The heck. I bit my tongue last night too, I think. So my tongue kind of hurts. So I'm kind of glad that today's Wednesday because it's, it's a shorter day for me. Um, I don't have to talk as much. It's painful when you bite your tongue, you know? It's painful. But, you know. It's, uh, I can't just not record. I can't just not stream. It's, it's part of my responsibilities now. And I mean, if, even if I could say, you know, hey, whatever, I'll just not do it. Like, 
I, uh, I, I can't, can't really do that, you know? I can't really do that. I know I, know I could, like, literally, physically, I, I could not record and, and not upload these videos, but mentally, it's, um, there's kind of this, this mental block I have from, from doing that, and I think that's a good thing. You know, it's not addiction, it's just, uh, it's a, it's a feeling of responsibility, and uh, I like it. I love the, the commando grenades, you know, on, uh, on Gunslinger, like, I have more fun on Gunslinger. Healing disabled. Oh my. Really? Um, on Gunslinger, I have more fun in general than on Commando. I mean, every now that you want to... You want something different, so, you know, you'll, you'll use something different, even if it's at the expense of uh, a little bit of fun. But, um... You know, it's, uh... Command Commando's nades just kind of make up for that because you get like actually powerful grenades that actually hurt stuff. Unlike on uh, Gunslinger where it just stuns stuff, but doesn't even like stun the big Zed. So you're just like, well, okay, I could have just shot them. <laughs> you know, like it's not uh, it's not that great. They're a little bit underwhelming. I wish I wish they would kill stuff more than uh, just like hurt stuff a little bit. Because like I'm still gonna one shot it once I hit it in the face anyway. But, I mean, you know, we use them every now and then. If I'm getting chased, I'll, uh, I'll pop them. There's no reason not to pop them, you know? But I, I really don't feel like they do much. I don't have a lot of respect for the, uh, for the gunslinger grenades. I do have a lot of respect for the, uh, commando grenades, though. So you are over there and down a little bit. Get out of here, dude. Oh, I thought I broke your face. I thought I decapped you. I thought I'd decap them. Oh well. Um, but yeah, like, uh, Commando's nades make up for that difference, in my opinion, just because they are, they are so much more fun. They're, so, they're much more powerful. Much stronger. They're nice. I like them. Uh, I'd better not dream about that I thought I went through there. I guess you could go either way, but... Well, I don't know. Uh, we're going to be going for the minigun, of course. I like the minigun a lot. Hopefully we can get it, but I really need that armor, because on this map, I do not know what I'm doing. Don't know where I am. Don't know how to get around. Uh, it's going to be a bit before I've, uh, I've kind of, like, internalized the, the way around this map, for sure. Yeah, I'll hop onto this. Can't hop onto that. Cannot do that. Yeah, I wanted to, but you cannot. Hey, buddy. Siren, watch your ears. I hate you. I hate you. Who is this mysterious I don't know. For, for like, I just I feel I feel weak on the commandos. Really, what it boils down to, like these guys are so annoying. Cause like, what you want me to? Cause like they they just they they cover up their stupid face every single time I shoot them. I hate them. I don't have the damage to one-shot them. You know, I got I got like similar DPS output, even perhaps higher DPS output once once Rand came. But it's just due to the sheer number of shots that I can put out. It's not uh, it's not so much related to the uh, to the amounts of uh, of damage you know per shot. The Gunslinger has much more shots, but fewer shots. I'm um, getting, getting just sort of put out into the world, you know? I mean, obviously we're using, like, a tier 1 weapon right now, so, so, so the damage is definitely much, much, much worse um, than it will be even later on once we get our minigun. But, uh... It's fine. You know, it's fine. I'm not super concerned about it. Kind of found a good spot to... Sp sort of kite here a little bit. Um, I'd love to find my way back to the uh, the thing that we need to get to. I don't know where it is though. Do not know where it is. Through here perhaps? I think it's through here? Um, maybe? Right over here? Yeah! Look at me! Know my way around. I'm gonna go pop this little buff here. Get to 
a little bit of extra damage to take out what a bloat or something that we got. Nope, just a uh, normal old little gore fast because the the sounds are terrible. <laughs> they really are. These runes, these runes that are popping up. I feel like I see like Japanese characters in there, but then not all of it is Japanese characters. Maybe it's because there, are, yeah, there's definitely some Japanese characters in there, like Kana. Maybe, maybe the stuff I don't understand is kanji that I don't get, but tomatoes. That's my tip. Good for clotting. Because we got uh, maybe it's runes. Maybe, maybe, maybe runes and and Kana are kind of similar. I don't know. Definitely recognized some stuff in there, though. I don't know if it's, uh... It's going by pretty quick, okay? I don't know. I don't recognize any of this stuff. Being able to look at it... You know, if these are what are popping up, I really don't think it's Kana. But maybe it's a weird font or something. I think there may, there may be runes or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. I'm uneducated. <laughs> if you know what it is, then tell me. Tell me! What is it? What kind of, uh... Well, I guess, I guess whatever, you know, language or, or Turns out it's true. um, character set it's from is kind of going to tell you what kind of lore this is, but I don't know. You don't have to go easy. Okay, I will murderize everything. Everything dies. Do you understand me? Everything dies. I don't know what it is. What kind of uh, mythical creature is doing this to us? So I've learned how to use the minigun recently in the last few episodes. You have to hold down the right mouse button and then it's like actually good. Wait, hold up. We have to change our perks. We have the wrong perks. We have the wrong perks for minigun run. I'm afraid they're just wrong. And like having the wrong perks on this is like super, super bad. Feels really, really bad when you have to like reload so frequently, and the reload takes like 18 years. But it is fun when it works, man. Think we can kill that guy in one in one burst? No, I uh, I think we can't. You have to die. Why, why couldn't I attack? Why couldn't I attack? We're so slow, dude. Flesh pound. Yeah, I know. He scares me, dude. Yeah. Okay, so we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna go for the minigun. I know I had the wrong perks on it, but like the minigun, I just. It's fun until you have stuff that's like behind you as well, and then it's just not very fun. To be honest with you, it's not very fun. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty not fun. That's okay though. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I've gotten a message. It's an important message that I have to look at. Give me, give me a moment. Anytime I see that red thing there. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You're not gonna know what it is. I know what it is. Anytime, anytime I see that red message, I gotta check it. You know, it could be, could be somebody telling me uh, things that are important. Was this one important? Mm, not really, but it could have been very important. It wasn't prudent. It wasn't. Uh, didn't. It didn't require immediate attention. But I can't know that until I see it. So it's kind of. Uh, I never remember what this is called. I call all of the things a catch-22, always. They're all catch-22s. Um, Self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. 
What is this? I don't know if you've ever been over here. Okay, we're done with uh, we're done with commando after this run as well. I'm get after this uh, after this episode. I'm getting um, I went back to my my speedy my speedy little girl thing. You know, that's what I want. I want to go fast. It's true of me in any game. I like uh, like moving fast. I played um, Mario Odyssey with my sister when when we first got our uh, our Switch. We kind of played it uh, in multiplayer, and uh, like my strategy for for Mario is is like how quickly can I just get to the end of the level? You know, like that's that's my my strategy. I don't pay attention to nothing. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't like. No. I. I. I just. I. I rush right to the end of the level, and I. I go as far as I can, as quickly as I can, and then I go back through the levels, and I poke through them, and uh, you know all that kind of stuff. But to me, when I'm when I'm rushing through a level in Mario or in any game for that matter, typically what I enjoy. So we can't heal right now. Typically, what I enjoy most is um. Is uh. Just rushing through and seeing, like, if you get, you get that fluid moment, you know, where where it just it feels good, and you and you're like, yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing, I know exactly where I'm going, and it just everything kind of flows. You got that like flow state, you know? That feels really, really good, um, my opinion anyway. And th and then you go back through it, and you get to appreciate all of the level design and everything like that, you know. But uh, for me, for me, step one is is definitely to. Um, Oh, you can move it, dude! Oh, yes! Yes! Hold up, hold up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So we're gonna go with a little bit of like this right here, right? Oh, Right here? I wanted them to stay down though. You're getting, you get out of here. I'm playing pool. Okay, I'm playing pool. We don't have a, we don't have a, we don't have a white ball. I'm gonna kind of like right on the top. Okay, it seems like if you impact another ball, it doesn't really move that much. And I don't know how to make it not bounce. I don't know how to make it not bounce, I'm afraid. I wish I did. Because <laughs> that would be cool. If you could play pool. I, I hate... Why do... Why do... Like, just answer me this. Why do map developers feel the need to make ledges that you can't jump over, but that have nothing on the other side? Like, you, you could just be on the other side, but you just... You can't jump over it. It's, it's like one of the... Are we even going to make it? Are we even gonna make it? Hold up, hold up. This will be fine. Um, we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna pick up this. We're gonna grab that, and we're good. Why? Like, I just—it's—it's it's infuriating for 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 me personally. When I see a perfectly good railing or something that I could jump over, but just like they—they—they they, they don't let me. Like that's that's an escape route. That's 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 like freedom. You know, I should I should be able to jump over this. There's like I can stand on the other side down there. I just I can't jump over it. There's just an invisible wall here. And that I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it a lot, honestly. Yeah, whatever, dude. I want it out of the way sooner because I can't heal. So the sooner I I get rid of the. Uh... Hey. Rav, the sooner I get rid of the um, the uh, the not being able to heal part of this, the the better in my opinion. Seems like healing might not be disabled, but uh, rather you're like you're not able to be healed. But if you have healing, you're probably still able to heal. You know what I mean? Like like if you if you pop the 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 syringe before you grab it, I bet you would still be healing. Because they couldn't figure out a way to stop that, they just uh, prevented you from being able to do it. Is my guess. That's my guess. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Hey, it's a cool map though. It's a, it's a very foggy map. 
You know, I mean, the fog is is apparently like a performance thing. Apparently, I don't I don't know how that works, but um, apparently it's there for performance. My computer can handle it without the fog. I wish I could disable it, but whatever. You know, I got I got a pretty good computer. It's not the greatest computer in the world, but it's 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 a pretty good computer. You know, it's a Ryzen 3600X, I think, um, and then uh, 2060KO. It's 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 perfectly acceptable for for being able to handle more than what it's giving me. Restaurante? Is it restaurante? No, ristorante. Uh, M16, M203, of course. I have enough bullets. Yes. Don't don't question my my bullet buying abilities. Ristorante. I can't read it. Your menu is unreadable. I want whatever this one is for 650 pounds. I don't know, six pound fifty. I don't know. Like, how do uh, how do you how do you say that? Is why I have a shrink on retainer. Cause uh, I, like I'd imagine they just say 650. Um, Cause like you know when when you're when you're somewhere that uses pounds, pounds is like the the standard, right? So so you just say 650. But like if you're gonna be more specific, right? If you're gonna be, right? I'm gonna say you know six bucks fifty cents, six dollars and fifty cents. I mean it's like five pounds and fifty pence. I actually don't know. I don't know. I know the pounds. I know the... There's like a billion different pounds. I guess there's like a billion different dollars too though, right? Because it's always like... Uh, you're trying to like figure out how much somebody's got. Like, well, I got like six pounds. But yeah, but what pound? With the uh, the GBP. I'm like, okay, well, there you go. Because there's, there's the the Great Britain or the, the Great Britain pound or whatever. And then there, there's some other pounds. I can't remember. I'm not a, you know, finance major, okay? But uh, it's always annoying. But I guess the same thing's true of like dollars, right? Because uh, you got Canadian dollar, you got the American dollar, got the Australian dollar. Uh, I believe they call it dollars over there, right? Um, is he talking to me? Got the Australian dollar. You got dollars all over the place, right? It's dollars for days. And I guess it's the same kind of problem for people who are trying to uh, translate to, uh, you know, tr or, uh, not not translate, but uh, like convert money from from one thing to a dollar. And they're like, yeah, but like what dollar? Because <laughs> because that's what happens to me as a, as a Canadian when I'm trying to convert to, to pounds or or something. You know why why do people have to use the same uh, the same term for for money? You know, like why can't we take after the uh, the people who have you know, their individuality. Like the uh, the yen, or the yon, whatever it is in... in I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce the... I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, there's won in, uh, in Korea. It's similar. We got, uh, like, rubies for... can't remember where. Um, like, you got uh, for... Yeah, I don't, I don't remember where rubies are for. I'm sorry. I'm not, uh, I'm not a very cultured individual. I'll admit it. I've got I've got my flaws and uh, and a lack of uh, of knowledge on things that uh, that other people might have knowledge on is definitely one of them. You know what? I think I can take you out. Oh wait, we have the uh, hold up. We have the M16. I thought we I thought we were still on the. I was that's why I was stuck on the scope for a while. I'm like, why why does this not look like the AK scope? But it's because we have the M16 M203, which means yes, we can obviously take out the scrape. And the bloat. And whatever else I want to take out for the rest of eternity. Because we have the M16 M203. London Paddington cancelled. Windsor and Etten is on time. Is that Reading? Surely they wouldn't call it Reading. It's probably Reading, right? Drink beer. Okay. Guillotine accessories? Spanda? 
Spanda, Chinese Street View, China is closer than it seems. Not even going to try to read that one. Not even going to try to read that one. Photo exhibition, and the train in the mirror of time. Photo exhibition, the train in the mirror of time. Zeinheiser. <laughs> Legally distinct from Sennheiser. Ah, Sennheiser headphones on right now. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I like them. I mean, uh, Zeinheiser. Zeinheiser. Restaurant and shop. I like looking at this stuff. This is a well-made map, honestly. It's nice. It's nice. I want to look at that, but we're getting we're getting chased by some stuff right now. Got some bio cola. Taste the hazard. Get out of here, dude. Never been to a train station like this, a subway station or whatever. Is this a train station or subway? I think it's a train station, right? Who knows? Is there even a difference? I don't even know. Maybe, maybe there isn't. Maybe there is. You want I do not know. Thank you for boosting me over the cap. <laughs> okay, I hear everything there. I'm really scared of it. I'm highly, uh, I'm highly easily scared. If, uh, if y'all haven't noticed, platforms under London Ground. Maybe, maybe it is a subway. Chloe Bisset. You are a problem. Life without restrictions. Ziza. Are they just replacing the first letter of everything with Z? That's right. I say Z is Z. Punk Burger. C -c 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 Combo. Ten, uh, ten pound. Ten pound. Ten F. Ten pound. I'm love I'm I'm not having a blast just reading through all the stuff right now. If you guys like what is this called? Queen's Clover? I don't know, maybe maybe if uh, if you live in uh, in London, maybe you could appreciate some of these these names a little bit more as uh they might be you know, legally distinct versions of uh of, of local Hot spots, but um, as as a Canadian, I can't really I can't really understand the Queen's Clover reference if it is even a reference or not. I imagine it is, you know. I imagine it is. Probably right. You got enraged, but you didn't take damage. Heck's going on, dude? No, you jerk! Hey, and you, the worst of all. Wait, we think we can make this shot right here? Either this is a giant paper cut. I don't think we made it. Oh, that was not a headshot. That one was. All right, all right. This wave is gonna flatten us. All right, all right. Let's get uh, let's get the uh, M or the HM Tech 501. This is a good weapon. We don't really we haven't used it really, um, but it's nice to have just in case you do get overwhelmed. Also, like the whole like you're able to just hit R to reload now. Like I can reload this, and then I can reload the underslung with uh, with R as well. It's really really nice. I love it a lot. See, so uh, the underslung is reloaded. I hit R to do it. You're not you're not. That's not working. I'm sorry, love, but that's that's just that that is working okay, apparently. Okay, um, so we have a, a major problem here, okay? In that, uh, do we can shoot through this? Perhaps. In that, uh, I have, I don't know where to hide. Please let me jump over this. Uh, we have nowhere to go after this. I'm amazed. 
Come on, come on, come on. You know what? This is, this is an excellent moment for, for me to use this weapon that I've been so highly praising, I guess. It's an excellent moment. I'm a little bit panicked right now. I won't deny it. Laser me. This this is this is a, a radio silence moment right here. Okay. I apologize. We just we have to take a hit here. I think. Uh. Plasma is very intriguing. We made TVs out of it once. It was like a great thing. It really didn't last though. Oh, you what, mate? She sniped me. Anywho, I like the Matrix skin. She's like a jack o' lantern. It's kind of cool. I do like Chris skin. The rest of the skins I don't like so much. Her skin is pretty cool though. Anywho, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Or not. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll hire somebody else to make these videos by next one. You'll have to wait and see. Bye-bye.